If you are assigned a Flipgrid assignment, you will find it in Canvas, and it will look something like this. You do not need to go to the Flipgrid website at all. You'll log into Canvas, you'll see the assignment. You're going to scroll down until you see the name of the assignment, which will be right here, and it will have some information or instructions for you. So in this case, you would watch this YouTube video, take notes on what you notice, wonder, and what it reminds you of, and then you're going to click on the red record button, which you could click here or this big one here. Either one works. And you're going to record a short video sharing your responses. And then in this case, you're going to watch and respond to three other classmates' videos. So what you will do is you will click record a response. And it says you have 45 seconds for this response. And click anywhere to dismiss. And you'll see yourself in the video. And you have a few different options. You can turn on effects if you want to add any frames or filters or emojis. If you want to use a whiteboard to be able to write on, if you want to do a drawing or add a photo. You can also flip, which um, doesn't really do much in this case here. But if you're on a phone, you could use this and it will show out the other camera that you have. Now, in the options section, this is where you can upload a video. So if you've already created a video elsewhere using your computer, using a screencasting tool like Loom, and you have that file, you could upload that video here. You could also mirror the video. And so it's changing um, like left and right. So you can see I'm holding up my left hand. You see it here. And now when I flip, it's on the other side. You can record without audio. So let's say you were doing some sort of screencast. You could potentially do that. I'm going to go back to options. And you could also record the screen. So this would be for screencasting. If you wanted to share what you had on a Google slide or um, explain something that you have on your computer screen, you can use that feature. Now, some other things that you see up here is up at the top right, it shows the topic. So this gives you the video and the instructions that you can look at. And then you have this sticky note. And this sticky note allows you to kind of type out your response. No one will see the sticky note. This is just kind of like a script or a teleprompter that you could use as you are creating your video. So you can just type in whatever text you want and it will be there if you leave it open. So when I'm ready to record, I will click on the record button and it gives me a timer, three, two, one. And then now it's actually recording what I'm saying. I can click over here on the left to redo or I can click here to pause. And you could even continue adding to this if you needed to. So I've used this much out of my 45 seconds. Um, let's say I wanted to do a screencast of some sort. I could then click on options and do record screen. And to record screen, I'm going to click start screen recording. And I'm going to choose which window I have open. Um, I can, or like which screen. I actually have two monitors. That's why you see two screens here. I could also open up a particular Chrome tab that I might have open. And I have a bunch. Maybe I want to talk about the heat wave rotating power outages that I have open for some reason. So I can click share. And I do not see the three, two, one. So know that it's not going to record. It's going to do that countdown. So if you start talking immediately when you're doing a screen recording, it won't know. But then when I'm done, I can press stop. And I'm going to go back to my Flipgrid. And it says that it's paused. I can add more if I want. Or I can review it and um, take out any clips if I need to. But you'll see here I have the video of me at first, and then I have the screencast. And then I can choose Next when I'm done. So if I click on Next, it's going to ask you to take a selfie to go along with your video. And so you can do that and just smile. And I could add effects if I want to add anything. If I want to add any text or filters, I could put a filter over this. Um, I'm already green enough. I don't need a green screen, but you could add different things if you want. Um, it's up to you. And then you can say next, and then it's going to upload your video. 
Here, it's going to take your first name and your last initial. It's going to have your email address. And then if you had any links that you need to submit, like a link to the slideshow or a link to a website that you were doing in your screencast, you can put that there. And then you can give it a title. It's optional, but um, a title sometimes help with like other people watching if you put a title that's like your main point or main idea. And then you're going to press submit. And it says success. Your video is now visible in the topic. Here is a direct link if you want to share it but I'm going to say complete. Now I can see my response and if you had other people in the class, if you weren't the first one, you would see other people's responses. If you want to view your classmates videos, you're going to click on the video and you can watch their video. And then what you can do is if you want to reply to their video, you are going to add a comment. And so to add a comment, you click add a comment and that is going to allow you to create a response back to um, the person's video that you just watched. And so you'll use that same process. You have all of the same features here for your responses.